Hey everybody, this is your multimedia designer, Bernard Fields, and I am reporting to you live from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I just decided that I was going to clear up my computer of some memory because I am working on a big project file, uh, designing a flyer, and it's eating up a lot of space. Just to be able to move around a simple object um, is taking a lot of time. It's just chugging along. So I decided to look at my memory on my desktop and I saw that I only had about roughly 30 gigabytes left and it was quickly dwindling and just going away and I've had this problem before and I went to Apple because I'm working on a Mac, uh, a MacBook Pro and they couldn't really figure out what the problem was and they saw that I would um, make minor changes or moves working with my big files and I would have like two gigs just Vanish that would just disappear and one guy helped me out. He said hey, have you ever heard of Daisy disk? And I was like no, I never heard of Daisy disk before he said well, let me put you on something So what I did was I went ahead and installed Daisy disk on my laptop and Voila in a matter of about an hour. I had freed up about 80 gigabytes that was hidden now Sometimes we want to go and we want to clear the trash can, but that's not good enough because for whatever reason, Mac loves to cache memory on old files. And I guess that helps it to run a little bit smoother, but after a while, it just gets all groggy. But anyway, let me go ahead and share my screen with you and show you live exactly how Disk Daisy or Daisy Disk, I'm sorry, works. So here we go. I'm going to share my entire screen and share. So here you have um, this daisy um, app.com. This is where you will go and you will download it. Now they have it here to buy it. And if, and if you buy it, it's only $9.99. Or you can download it now and get it free, but they have like this waiting period of like a minute before the app actually begins to work which is kind of okay. I mean, if you don't want to pay the $10 to no longer wait 30 seconds, then I don't know, maybe you need to work on your patience. But right here, it talks about hidden gigabytes. And this stuff is, is real. I didn't know that this exists, but um, somehow Macs love to eat up gigabytes. Not little megabytes, we're talking gigabytes. And right now, you may be thinking to yourself, I need to go buy more memory. You may not need to do that. You may just need to go ahead and download Daisy Disk, and I'll show you what happens next. So when Daisy Disk opens up, for the first time you open it, and every time you open it, it says um, test drive mode, and then you have to wait like 30 seconds, and this little thing will go down, 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 and then it turns from yellow to green, and then you just click uh, test run. And test run actually is the actual... Um, full running program except you just can't delete um, files straight from the program. You have to do it and I'll show you how to do that. But anyways, you would go here and it will scan your drives. And I have my hard drive scanned because that's where my memory is being eaten up. And as you can see right here, I have 29.14 gigabytes free. So after it scans it, it took about a half an hour for it to scan my laptop. You hit view, and as you see right here, it pulls up this disk. And it shows you right here in the middle how much space is being used. And then, of course, you know how much space you have free over here. Okay. And then you have, it starts off as the core. And then it moves over here into the area to say, okay, this is where a majority of your memory is being eaten up right here, or being used, I'll say that. Not eaten up, just being used. And then the further you move out, it starts to break it down. So as you can see over here to my right, you can see that it says the green is color-coded. It's blinking over here, saying that this is what that is. So I have 298 gigabytes being used. So I want to click on that. And then it zooms in in a really cool way. And then I see right here, it says smaller objects. That is... Um, 478. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the gigabytes. So I click on that. And then it breaks it down some more. It says, okay, I have 
91.9 gigabytes of data being used in my documents. If I want to find out what that is, I just simply click on that and it breaks it down and lets me know. It says you have 23 gigabytes used in this folder, this folder, all of this. If you hover over it, looking at the um, house in proportion, it lets you know exactly what's in that concretized studio folder. It says random art, I have 10 gigabytes, I may want to get rid of that sometime soon. Okay, but let's go ahead for the sake of time. Let's go back out. All right, and I see that my library has 95 gigabytes being used, so I click on that. And this is where the hidden stuff is. I have application support, okay? I would, you would think that it would be in preferences, but it's not, or that it would be in cache. It could be, you could go ahead and delete that, but if you click in application support, and this is for people who are really like design heavy. You see right there, it says Adobe 63 gigabytes being used just sitting there. And then you zoom in, and then it says right here, Creative Cloud Libraries, I'm only using 280 megabytes, but I have 62.7 gigabytes being used. If I click on that, all that is media cache, 62.7 gigabytes of media cache. You may be wondering, well, what is media cache? If you hover over that, this is what media cache is. Media cache, is all of this. It's not, it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much, but it adds up and it's 62.7 gigabytes. So I just click back on common. And then what I do is I right click on that folder and then I hit show in Finder. And when it shows it in Finder, it takes you directly to where that folder is at. What I normally do is, because I've done this several times, about five different times I've done this. If you want to take the risk and do it, that's fine, but um, that's totally up to you. Once with this folder being selected, I hit Command A. I'm sorry. I click inside the folder, and then I hit Command A to select all of that. And then I drag it all the way down to the trash which that's probably like the longer way, <laughs> as you can see, because the, it starts to spin. Or you can hit Command Delete. It'll still take it to the trash can for you. Or if you do happen to have another um, application such as, um, gosh, what is it called? Uh, Clean My Mac or something of that nature. If you can use that to empty out the trash can, you could do that too. Let's go ahead and try this. Yeah, forgive me if it's taking a little bit too long, but this is all part of the process. When you find that much memory just sitting on your laptop or your computer and it's not being used, then yes, you're going to have that spinning beat ball of death. Which this is what I'll do. I'll just do it the way that I normally do with the shortcut keys. Once this thing stops spinning. And then plus it takes a while for it to, uh, to empty the trash too. But that's pretty much where all of your, your memory is being held captive. Right there in the media cache files. And there you can see my uh, Clean My Mac popped up immediately saying that the trash is already filled up to 2.94 gigabytes. So it's working. And the items that it's going to be deleted is 30,152 items that it's being thrown away right now. And it's going to take a while for this to get cleared up, but that's where it's hiding at. Let's go back over here. And I'll stop the presentation like so. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, that's what you would need to do, um, especially, like I said before, if you are a designer and you do a lot of graphics, and uh, especially like if it's um, big files, your Mac is eating up the files and storing the memory. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe Apple can explain that to me. But um, yeah, I highly recommend if you're running low, 
go ahead to um, daisydiscapp.com, download the, um, the free trial version, whatever, and then run it. And then uh, if you have problems understanding it, you can watch their video or you can watch this video again. And uh, as I showed you step by step on how to clear up memory on your Mac. So without any further ado, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe and tell people that, um, hey, you found a new way to clear memory on your Mac. Peace. Next time.